about why the mean and the standard deviation can be so useful. When we look at our data, we can calculate the mean and then it's kind of give or take the standard deviation. And so that's the idea that we talked about when we're calculating it, that we're trying to say, um, how wrong am I if I use the mean to guess your score? How wrong do I tend to be? Well, I tend to be wrong, give or take, the standard deviation amount. There's another way to, in, um, to talk about this, and that's thinking about it in the actual distribution. Let's say it looks like this kind of a distribution. And so the mean of this distribution would be right here in the center. And so when we want to place the standard deviation here, and I'll put that in um, green, one standard deviation above. So remember, we're trying to do this give or take piece. So I give a standard deviation and I take a standard deviation, which means I've gone up the standard deviation points here for one standard deviation, and then I subtract one standard deviation here. And so what this is telling us is visually where the mean of the distribution is, but then where those standard deviation markers are. And I'm gonna give you a little secret, 68% of people in this kind of a distribution fall between the one standard deviation below and one standard deviation above the mean. This is really useful knowledge. Now you can see that there are, um, I'm just gonna put this in yellow, there's other parts of the distribution that aren't included in that 68%. This um, includes data. These are people who are outside the standard deviation. Remember, we're saying on average how wrong I am. Some people I'm even more wrong if I use the mean to try and guess their score. But what we can see is that there's portions of this distribution that aren't encompassed in this one standard deviation above and below the mean. But we are going to learn about how to apply standard deviation concepts to um, outlining that percentage. What we can see is there's 100% of people are in this distribution, 68% of them are here, which means that we have a remaining percentage of people in the tails. So this is all useful information. Just from taking these two scores, I have the mean and the standard deviation, I can now start to understand where most people are in a distribution that looks like this.